Hi, this is Kim. I am here under a tree having a little break from the blistering heat here on this uh, hot South African day. Um, I was just out for a walk in the horse field. As you can see, there's a horse in the background. That's Ben. Um, yeah, and it's the reason that I decided to go on this walk that inspired me to make this video. Um, because I'm just reflecting a little bit. I've been back on the Destiny Farm now for about a week after having left for um, a month and a half. And then before that, I was here for almost three months. So I'm grateful to be fortunate enough to be able to travel back and forth, Canada, South Africa, um, and definitely uh, feel fortunate to be in this position. And it's also brought up some points that I wanted to share, specifically uh, one point that has served as a great reminder for me. And this point started when I came to the farm uh, the first time, when I came for my long-term stay. And what happened was that I left an environment that was uh, very, very routine and scheduled, where my days were predictable, where I could structure myself quite easily into predictable time slots, knowing that every day those time slots would be there. And then when I came to the farm, um, I walked into an absolutely fluid environment with many people with different schedules, animals, uh, just the environment, the vehicles, uh, the internet, everything that, um, you know, is more predictable back at home. Here is, uh, you know, if a vehicle breaks down and needs to be repaired, then your plans for the day with that vehicle aren't going to happen. You know, the internet is in and out, so sometimes I plan to put some time aside to do some work online and then, you know, I go to sit down in front of my computer and then only to realize that that's not going to happen and I have to now uh, reconfigure my whole plan for the day. So, um, when I came here the first time and I really, really wanted to be involved and be participating and contribute and I was using, um, what I had learned from back at home in terms of, you know, structuring myself, scheduling my time. And I was trying to apply that here at the farm and yeah, that wasn't working. That was very difficult. Um, so also I wanted to take part in a lot of different activities, uh, and I wanted to do it all at once. Not to mention at the same time, I'm going through the uh, culture shock of having to learn all about a new country. Um, you know, I'm uh, cooking one day a week and the food that I'm familiar with is not available here. And there's a whole bunch of new food that I'm not familiar with at all and I have to learn. Um, so as much as I knew, I had the knowledge of what it means to move somewhere drastically different uh, in terms of taking it slow, integrating bit by bit, um, you know, taking my time to incorporate one element at a time. I knew all of that, but uh, regardless, I decided to um, walk the, the path of least resistance and kind of try to just force uh, my old life onto my new life. And what happened was that I um, got overwhelmed with um, the amount of things I was trying to incorporate into my day. And also just having a complete lack of structured schedule and routine would end up doing things like staying up really late one night and sleeping in when I knew I had to be up early the next days. Um, and so my sleeping was difficult. Uh, I just felt all over the place. At the same time, I am walking my process, so I was working with all of that as it came. I was actively participating in my learning. I was bringing up the points that were coming up and addressing them and writing them out, uh, the things that were overwhelming me. Um, but I did go into judgment and reaction about who I was and how I handled it here. And so here's the point, is that then I got completely removed from this environment and back to my old life. Um, and I was reminded of what that was like and, you know, how kind of easy, I mean, it didn't seem easy at the time when I was walking that process, but now going back into it, it's like, oh yeah, man, this is what it feels like to have a set routine and predictability. 
Um, so I experienced that and then I came back onto the farm now armed with, with so much more understanding. And um, so it's going to be really cool to now bring this understanding through. But, but here's the point I've been <laughs> talking about this whole time is that what I didn't appreciate uh, that I had done for myself was walking my process through those points as I was facing them here last time. Now, I didn't uh, walk them through completely. Time, Not enough time had played out for me to kind of go through it all. Um, and I was still, you know, confronting obstacles and uh, dealing with the judgments and stuff. But when I came back, uh, what I found that I didn't appreciate that I had done is that it was so much easier to um, kind of flow back into... The environment here I had so much more understanding I had built foundations for myself when I was here last time that I didn't appreciate because I was too busy judging myself for all the difficulties I was having and I was too busy reacting and I was too busy going into the mind um, and not giving myself that appreciation for the the building I was doing and that's too bad luckily you know here I am now looking and seeing that this second time that I'm back here in South Africa has been just a pleasure because it's like I developed that familiarity and I would see an obstacle and I, and I would think oh okay I already you know walked a process with this I know how to how to confront this and how to walk through it and integrate it and I see myself wanting to to pile on just all sorts of um, tasks, obligations, responsibilities, and I just slow down. And that's why I came for this walk today, because I saw myself starting to bury myself under a pile of stuff to do, you know, the to-do list. To-do list is great, but it's the balance of not just trying to get everything done all at one time. You know, we can only do so much in a day. So, um, yeah, so I now when I see myself going into that burdened, buried, overwhelmed, rushed, uh, kind of constricted breath, you know, just looking at all the stuff I have to do. I just kind of take a breath and um, give myself a moment to go and appreciate something. You know, I'll finish up what I'm doing, the, the one task I'm working on, and then go on a walk and just breathe until my breath is back to normal. Uh, starting the day also with a little bit of yoga, which has been nice. Um, something I'm integrating also. So, yeah, I mean, being here on the farm, y you have the opportunity to discover so much about yourself and uh, so much to learn. It, just being in any different environment, really, uh, to see who you are within that environment. And don't forget to appreciate the process that you're walking because you are building. You know, I was building that whole time but I I just I missed it I missed I missed that I was doing that and so now I get to enjoy the fruits of my labor and have it be an easier integration this time around all right so that's my little update I'm really glad to be back here um and uh yeah you'll be seeing more from me as uh as days and months and weeks go by all right thank you bye